Tomorrow evening at Real to Real Theater in Johnson City, the radio TV film program at ET ETSU presents the Made in East Tennessee Film Festival. And this morning we welcome filmmakers Jared Smith, Evan Barnes, and Briar Worley to daytime to preview this big event. Let's talk about the event itself. I want to break down each one of your all's films that you made, but let's talk about the, the event itself. Give us a little overview of what's going to be happening at Real to Real. Sure. So tomorrow night at 7 o'clock at Real to Real, uh, we're having the Made in East Tennessee Film Festival, which collects uh, student films from this past semester uh, from the various classes at ETSU or East Tennessee State University, if somebody didn't know what ETSU was. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's just a showcasing of uh, some of the uh, higher quality films. I don't want to say that, but just the films that right. uh, kind of stood out. So. And, and evidently, your three films have stood out. And yeah, like, yeah. tell me about your film. Uh, mine uh, is, is kind of a str strange coming about. I'm actually an early childhood major. I, okay. I have nothing to do with film. Uh, but I was watching some home videos uh, earlier this summer that my brother had recorded when he was eight years old. And I realized that he made the perfect home movie because as adults, we're more concerned about uh, filming specific uh, events, situations. We're worried about wasting film. Where well, kids right. don't worry about wasting films; they just shoot. Right. And so he ended up catching those moments, those uh, those little uh, details that we tend to value the older we get. Right. Um, so that kind of convicted me that we need to allow children to explore with film, uh, especially now that the the, the technology is way more accessible. We don't waste film anymore. Uh, so I, I set out about trying to teach my nephew's film, but then I realized I had never made a movie myself. So it's so kind now of, you have. So now I have. So you I can still speak that voice of experience. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Tell us about your film, man. Uh, yeah, for sure, Chris. Uh, so I did a music video on a singer-songwriter named Brielle Rathbun uh -huh. and her friend Colin Jeffries. Um, I just got in contact with them in Johnson City. I had a project uh, that was due in my cinematography cl uh, class. Um, so I got in contact with them and we scheduled it and uh, we shot it and we did it. And now it's a music video. <laughs> and now it's a music video. That creative process, is that what you like most about this whole thing? Yeah, so um, the music video was actually, I would say that's prob probably the first serious video I've ever done. and. Um, I kind of just had to throw myself uh, in the water, you know, and um, I, I really enjoyed the creative process. I didn't know exactly how it was going to look like. Right. Um, I just kind of went with it and hoped that it was all going to, you know, somehow piece together and, right. it, and it, it all ended up uh, working together. So. And um, Briar, if you would share with us about your film as well. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, it actually started out more as an experimental film. Mm -hmm. I didn't intend for it to carry a narrative, but it ended up that way. Okay. I was lucky enough to nab an independent study, right? and um, I went, found some paint swatches, thought, what can I do with color to tell an interesting story? Okay. And I did a lot of different, I experimented with interesting camera angles maybe that I'd never done before. I edited it in ways that I had never tried before. Right. And it was just, it was really exciting to make something entirely new when I wasn't even sure exactly where I was going. Okay. And um, it's really interesting because I've been told by a lot of people that it's um, one of their favorite works that ah. I've done. And that was really nice to hear, especially because I had no idea what I was doing when I was first starting. It came together over time, and I think that that was what was best about it. I love how you got, you started with that inkling of an idea yeah. and took it all the way out to the finished product. Yep. And I speak to artists all the time and it's mm -hmm. that whole process of getting there from point A to point B that's yes. so much fun and, and that's where you that's where you live. Yes, right it really is the process that makes everything worth doing right. because once you start collecting everything yeah. together and the experiences mold together into something that becomes a story even if right. you don't intend for it to be, right. it's pretty incredible. Storytelling through film, mm -hmm. absolutely. Thank you for being here today and sharing your stories yeah. with us and everybody can come and share their, your stories with them at Real to Real tomorrow night. We got the information for you right here. Real to Real Theater it's happening Tuesday. It's made in East Tennessee Film Festival. Tuesday, March 26th, 7 p.m. It all starts right there at the Real to Real Theater. If you need more information, check out that website right there at the screen.